hello guys welcome to our channel so in this video we are going to say this particular problem maximum points in an archery competition so what this uh, problem says is uh, there are two competitors Alice and Bob and they are opponent in an archery competition the competition has set of following rules so what it is saying is like uh, Alice first shoot some number of rows arrows sorry and then Bob shoot the same number of arrows okay so this is the first one the second one says is uh, how the points is calculated so uh, like wh what it is said in these three points is let me show it here only so suppose uh, there are th this is the archery competition okay I hope you guys know it so there are more uh, regions so this is uh, this is some other region this is some other region this is some other region and this is some other region okay now each region has a score so the, suppose the internal one the most uh, inside one here it is of score 11 then this is of score 10 this is of score 9 this is of score 8 and so on okay so if anyone shoots uh, and suppose Alice shoots 9 here and Bob shoots suppose 2 here so if A Alice shoot K, uh, a K number of arrows in any particular region where K represent the score at that particular region. So, okay. So if suppose the uh, if K is equal to 11, it is talking about the internal one. Okay. So if a K is the number of uh, arrows sh shot by uh, Alice and B K is by uh, Bob. So if a K is greater than equals to B K in that case, K number of points are given to Alice and B got zero. If that is not the case, if BK is greater than AK, then K points are given to Bob and Alice gets zero. If both of them are same, in that case, zero points are given to uh, each of them. Now, uh, what it is said is uh, Alice has shot uh, her number of arrows, like all the arrows that are given to her. And Bob now wants to shoot and Bob wants to maximize the total number of points he can obtain. So. Uh, here if you see the number of points that Bob obtained depends upon the number of arrows that Alice has shot at that particular region. So if suppose Bob wants to maximize, so he wants to maximize the number of points. Okay, so points are given by the regions and uh, Bob wants to maximize that. It means that he has to uh, sh uh, like get a particular region, maximum number of regions, but <clears throat> there is a price if Alice has shot a K number of arrows in a particular region then Bob in order to get that point he has to uh, like he will have to shot uh, like shoot at least uh, a K plus one number of arrows then only uh, like this Bob will get the point of that particular region right so we have to uh, uh, and now we are given okay uh, in what region how many arrows has been shot by Alice and what is the total number of arrows we have to just see uh, like uh, how we can maximize the number of uh, like maximize the points that Bob can obtain and uh, whatever arrows that he has shot uh, like in order to get that particular uh, maximum value we have to return that uh, like arrow uh, like uh, the distribution of that arrow in which region how many arrows has been shot we have to return that so uh, in order to get this thing this problem some sometimes like something uh, looks like this okay zero one knapsack problem how why I'm saying this in zero one knapsack problem also we had a bag <coughs> and we have a few uh, suppose artifacts which we can uh, steal and each of the artifact has some price associated with it and each of the artifact has some weight associated with it so this bag can hold approximately of max weight and this is weight 1, weight 2, weight 3, weight 4 this is price 1, price 2, price 3, price 4 so we have to pick up uh, the weights such a manner that we have to maximize the number of price oh, sorry maximize the price and put it in the bag here also here in uh, like this max weight is analogous to number of arrows that is present here and then each of the regions that we have in the uh, like uh, the target number of regions each of the regions has its own weight weight as in like how many arrows has to be shot there so if Alice shot AK then Bob will have to shoot AK plus one at least so this is the weight of a particular region and after uh, uh, like the what is the profit is profit is the K points that we can get out of that region okay so this is kind of knapsack problem this seems like knapsack. so how many regions that uh, Bob can pick up so that he can maximize his points like this K so that array we have to uh, uh, give back so this uh, is uh, similar to this knapsack problem 
but i was not able to uh, like implement this so um, uh, after the contest i tried to implement or think about it so i uh, like got an idea of bit masking how is there are only 12 of them okay now uh, suppose these are the 12 and bob uh, uh, like after bob has shot the arrows there are uh, suppose this region is selected this region is selected this region is selected and this region and this region so each of the region that we have let put it as one 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 and rest of them put zero right so this is the regions that we can get now uh, since there are only 12 of the regions the total number of possible uh, regions that my bob can select is 2 power 12 at max he can either take this one or not he can take this one or not this one or not this one or not. so basically 2 2 2 2 and that is why 2 power 12 cases okay so and 2 power 12 is 2 into uh, 4 into 10 power 10 which is approximately 10 or like of the order of 10 to the power 4 only so we can easily do that so that is why i got the idea of bit masking so what we are doing here like in order to use this bit masking i am using two values whether <coughs> uh, we are going from 1 till n okay n is that 2 power 12 and uh, what we are going to do is uh, we are going to just see if that particular mask is possible and if that mask is possible is possible or not if that mask is possible then we are going to calculate point okay so that way what we are going to do is we are going to see if a mask is possible and if it is possible what is the total point that we can get out of that uh, mask and if that point we have to maximize that particular point so once we maximize that particular point we will get okay what is the mask which led to that maximum point and then using that mask we can get this particular array like what are the arrows that uh, bob has shot so let's see how we can uh, proceed with that before that what we are going to see is we are going to see this uh, is uh, or uh, like uh, is mask possible or not this particular function so what we are doing here is we are uh, using this score so suppose the mask came something like this 0 0 1 1 1 2 3 4 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 okay like this now what we have to do is we have to see okay suppose this is the mask that came here okay this is the mask this is the number of arrows that Alice shot and this is the number of arrows uh, that are permitted okay because arrows shot the same number of arrows that Alice shot Bob also have to shoot the uh, same number of arrows one thing you will have to notice is this zeroth position or the outermost region that we have we can shoot any number of arrows there and still we cannot get a point okay because the, uh, the point for that particular region is zero so if you shoot even one then we will get zero if it two then also is zero then three then it is also zero so keep this in mind okay now if this is our mask what we are going to do this is 11th one this is 10th one this is 9 8 7 and goes up till the zeroth one now what we have to do is we are just going to see if that particular mask is uh, zero or like zero or one if it is one we are going to multiply that like we are going to say okay how many alice has uh, shot that particular okay this mask one means bob is taking that particular region okay if bob is taking that particular region how many arrows he have to shoot is equals to how many alice has shot plus one so if mask is equals to one number of arrows that bob has to spend is number of arrows alice shot plus one so that way what we are going to do is we are going to calculate the total number of arrows that bob shot okay and if the number of arrows that was used by bob here is less than equals to number of arrows this here then we are going to return true else false why less than equals to and not equals to equals to is suppose this is the case okay <coughs> Uh, Bob can take this region, this region, this region, this, this, this. Suppose Alice has shot uh, two arrows here and three here, four here, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So what we can do is uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, here two arrows has to be uh, shot by Alice, was shot by Alice. Bob has to shoot at least three arrows. So uh, we, what we are going to do, we are going to see the bare minimum that, that we require here so that uh, Bob can take that particular position. Okay. So uh, after calculating the bare minimum, bare minimum, bare minimum, suppose we are left with some arrows here at when we come to this zeroth position. Okay. Suppose uh, uh, Alice has some. Here Alice has shot suppose uh, two or three on only. Okay. And now uh, when we take the bare minimum from all these cases, then what we are going to get is there might be some arrows left. Suppose uh, uh, five is left. 
okay so all those files we can insert in the last position only right so uh, what i'm going to do is i'll show you this with an example this case why i'm taking less than equals to but for the time being let's see arrow less than equals to num arrows and then we are going to return whether it is true or not okay so this is how we are going to see whether that particular mask is uh, uh, like possible or not so once we have done that what we are going to do is we are going to see this calculate point so the calculate point is the uh, every mask that we have we are going to take that particular mask and if that mask is equals to equals to one we are going to take that particular score okay so if it is one then we'll multiply the score and then we'll add it and then we'll return the point okay so this was the easy one now uh, let's see uh, the actual code so there's nothing in the actual code this is mask possible was the one that was a bit tricky so let's see the actual code so here uh, initially i have taken this mask okay so like uh, one 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 is the maximum that we can get we are iterating from one till n and we are keeping a mask and ma uh, max point like this is the mask which gives maximum point so we are going to check if mask is possible which we have seen that if mask is possible then we are going to calculate the number of points if the number of points is greater than the max point then mask we are going to update and max point we are going to update okay so this was easy one so this for loop uh, exit we have uh, seen all the mask calculated now we have got uh, what are all the mask and what is the uh, corresponding maximum point so we have got the mask actually okay this is what this is what we needed now what we are going to do is until that mask is greater than zero what we are going to do is we have created an array initially all of them was zero now uh, once we have got the mass of 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 we have got so we'll see okay this is the this is the position at what uh, it is one that is we have to take this position so how many arrows we will have to shoot at that particular number? bob will have to shoot alice, alice plus one so whatever alice is there uh, do plus one and put it here similarly here similarly here then uh, uh, once we are done with that we are calculating how many number of arrows we have shot altogether and the zeroth position we are putting all the remaining arrows because that is not going to uh, like affect anything okay so uh, let let me uh, take an example and uh, make you understand this last point why we are doing this and in the ease mask why we are taking less than equals to okay so for this uh, i am going to show you this so i got my answer wrong here for this particular case okay so uh, what i am going to do here is let me erase everything and we'll show so uh, see here uh, the mask that uh, this was is if you see here the last one was 20 21 that we can put Bob here and this is zero here okay so what we could already have done is we uh, we instead of putting all the 21 here this is the bare minimum that we have taken at these position you can see five was shot by Alice we have taken six three was shot by Alice we have taken four 13 was shot by Alice, we have taken 14. Instead of taking this uh, uh, here, we could have also taken like this. Instead of 21, if we would have suppose put 20 and instead of this 6, we would have put 7. So that is also a valid case. Okay. Because if you put 7, we can take that particular question because 5 was only shot and we have uh, Bob has shot 7. We get the answer same. We'll get the maximum one. Because this 20 and this 21, they do not do anything because the last uh, uh, region has score of 0. So uh, what we have done initially, we have taken the bare minimum at all places. And at the end, whatever remaining is, we are just putting it. If it is remaining 0, we put 0. If there are anything else, we put it anything else. So if you see, uh, we have to, instead of 21, we put 20 and uh, we have increased 6 to 7. So this is also a valid case. Instead of 20, let's take uh, 18. And the 2 that we have remaining, let's put it as 3 here. Let's put it as 9 here. This is also a valid case. So that is what I was saying. Initially, we take the bare minimum one. And once we are left with all the other, we are just put, simply put it at the zeroth position. So this was the test case that I was missing. Uh, like uh, which uh, led me to this wrong answer at the first place. So yeah, that is what uh, the uh, point is uh, here in the action one. That is why we have done something like this. At the last, we have taken arrow used is less than equals to num arrows because when we reach at the end, the number of arrows that uh, we are remaining is it can be less than that because we are always taking the minimum of uh, this Alice and doing just plus one, not any extra. So number of arrows can be less than equals to this num arrows, the total number of arrows that we have. Okay. So let's see.
so this was basically uh, what the whole uh, problem was so you can solve this problem with bit masking if if you have any idea about the zero one knapsack problem just put it in the comments your code and uh, so the others can also and i can also see that particular code okay so yeah that that was basically all and that is why only we are uh, using this we are doing the sum of all the arrows that we have shot and then subtracting it from num arrows and we are storing it in the zeroth position okay if you see zeroth position because no score is there right for that so yeah that that's a pretty that that's pretty uh, pretty much everything about this problem let me try to submit this and let's see what happens okay so the code got submitted and this is our time so the code uh, this particular code you can find it in the link of the uh, description of the video and you can go ahead and check that and if you have any doubt uh, just mention in the comments and yeah i can i can try i'll try to solve those things okay thank you